Today we're going to be looking at the um, we're going to be looking at wielders of the almighty rare FH three hundred six beacons. Besides the second Walmart tower in um, in Springfield, so um, yeah, let's get into this. This is a this is a red and white self supported tower in in Wadsworth. At, I think that's how you pronounce it, but um, Ohio. Let's look at this. Ooh, it looks cool. Hmm. I really want to see. I really want to see a video of a tower with one of these beacons at night mode. Since I was not able to, um, I did not film the the second Walmart tower on night mode. So I'm I don't have a video, that, um, of of it on, on night mode just for me and everybody else to view. So I'm not. Yeah, um, I never made a video of it at night, which I, which I sincerely, really, really, really regret. But um, but um, I tried typing up um, I tried looking up um highways around it around the the tower. And um, it, well at night at least, and so far I have found nothing. Number two, this is a gray self supported tower located on I um, on the I seventy one. All right, let's look at this. Oh, you can see it as well. Uh, yep, there it is in all its glory. And, um, where's the markers? Uh, I don't know where they are, but I, I think I may be, I think I'm able to see, I think I'm seeing them right now. Um, I don't know. But there, there's, uh, there's, uh, um, so I to, want to, um, see, ooh, hey, look. Another, another tower. Oh, I love, I love the way this one looks. Look at that. So um we got um we got one tower that shines white at day and right at night. I wonder what beacon this tower has. I wonder if it's a, a another one that shines white at day and right at night or at least just one that um only shines white. No, I think I I think I'm seeing markers. Those are markers. All right. So um you got to be kidding me. I can't even see the I can't see the the beacon. I gotta get farther away from it. That must be some LED. Uh, I think that may be it. I'm not too sure what beacon that is. Um, no, that must have been something else. Is that what I think it is? Is that some some? Is that some some uh? microwave dish thing on the top of it instead of putting it instead of putting it on the side of the tower they put it on on the top well guys i'm not really seeing any beacon on the tower but this is this does look tall enough to have a, a beacon i don't know why it wouldn't uh, the beacon remains a mystery so if why is aiden why why is aiden if you watch this I want to know what beacon this tower has, since um, since this is in Ohio, then um, probably you've seen it before, maybe I don't know. At day, well, day, night, something I don't know, but it is a chance that you live down here. So um, well, since you live down there, so so want to so want to know what beacon that has. So um, yeah, there's a number three. This tower is very similar to Tower One. It um. I like to call this this the uh, red and white Barberton Tower. Uh, it also, I mean, it is also the only tower in my hometown with a beacon. Hmm, I know what this tower is. He showed me this, and it does look like a. It does look like the the first one. I forgot I had this beacon. I thought I had something else on it. I thought I had like a dual strobe or something. I think I thought that's why I always, that's why I always remembered. I don't know where it is anymore. Okay, I found it again. Well, there it is. You can see it looks um it it, it looks similar to um it looks so similar to the to the first one on this list. So um, there's that. Hopefully, hopefully one day, wise Aiden will make a uh make a video of this certain tower here at day and night mode, because that would really be nice to see. So um, 
since I oh, I wasn't able to make a day I wasn't able to make a night mode video of the um of the second Walmart tower with its old um F eight zero six. So I really want to see this one with its F eight zero six on night mode really badly. Number number four. This is a red and white self supported tower with lots of antennas. It looks like it would have an incandescent beacon. Hmm. I wonder what's the deal with all the the red and white. Be oh, the next ones are red and white. The red and white. Uh, number five is a red and white uh tower as well. Gee, what's the deal with all these red and white towers? Hmm. It does look like it, it does look like a. It should be a wielder of the an incandescent beacon, but hey, it. It may not be, but it's at least a wielder of an, of a much rare of a much rarer beacon. So um, there it is at the top. You know, I wish these things were still made today. That would have been nice. Um, back then they weren't rare, and uh, now they are because of dual strobes and LEDs. Number five, this is a red and white guide tower. It's located next to a tower with an incandescent beacon and two sets of sight mark. Yes! <laughs> oh, yeah, boy. Oh, yes. This is awesome. Oh, wait a sec. I've already seen this before, but I forgot this one had a strobe on it. Isn't that nice? I love towers with I love um those um those tower pairs where one tower will have an incandescent beacon and the other one will have a strobe. That's the uh, coolest thing really. So um there there's the two. Um I don't know if that's uh at the I I don't know if the incandescent beacon on the second tower is uh old school or mark oh wait no, it's old school because it has two sets of markers, not um one. Um, modern incandescent beacons only come with one set of markers, sadly. So, um, yeah, there's that. And this one here only has one set of markers because strobe lights don't come with two sets of markers, sadly. Unless you, um, unless if you buy more than one. So, yeah, that sucks. Number six, this is a red and white microwave guide tower. Oh, hey, look, a microwave guide tower. Isn't that nice? Oh, this is a different, this is different th than what I thought it was. But it's still nice. Where's the... I think those may be the markers there. Not too sure. Oh, hey, look. That tower looks like it has an incandescent beacon. So, um... Yeah, this tower here is also um, close to a... It's also close to a tower with an incandescent beacon. Just like the last one. So, there's that. And, oh... Look what I found there. Hopefully those have beacons. Well, guys, I got bad news. There is no, there is no direct street view right next to the towers, and they do look pretty small, so they may be beaconless. So um, I don't see any markers. But I do see something on top of one, one tower. Ooh. there. Yeah, I am seeing something on top of um. Of the other tower. If these power mines want to block it, though. So. Uh, it's too blurry to see. But it has no markers. It doesn't have any of that, though. It may be a single, it may be a white only single strobe. Uh, if so, then I hope the other one is a, I hope the other one. Has a, a a white and red. I, I hope it has a dual strobe, or something that shines white and red. So, yeah, let's move on. Okay, here it goes. Um, number seven. This is a uh, a, a wide. I guess I'm supposed to say wide lattice tower. I, not too sure. Let's look at it. Wow, this really is wide. Look at that. Gee, well, there, there's a single strobe on it. Oh, and there's some markers. I also found a tower in the background. I wonder what beacon that has. I'm not too sure. Hmm. Looks like a dual strobe. This one has the opposite, a single strobe. It would be a true opposite if it had if it was white only, but it's not.
But hey, it's um, at least this this beacon is even more rare than the white only strobes. There it is in all its glory. And it's markers as well. You know, this tower here does give me a little nostalgia because back when I was little, um, I would look up at every single tower, see what beacon it had, and um, the towers with dual strobes, I would, it, it, they will be, they will look tall, and you'll, and you'll see a little bit of red on them. I'll just be like, oh, this tower only shines. I mean, this tower shines white and red. And then I'll look at towers with single strobes like this one, and I'll be like, oh, this one only shines white. And that's how I always known it. That's why I always. That's why I always said. So that's the reason why it's nostalgic to me. All right, number eight, your average two antenna cell tower. There is a similar, similar looking tower that's a little farther from the highway that has an old school LED. Okay, so um, let's look at this. Let's see how average it is. Oh, hey, hey, look, he is right. It is average. Ooh, I think that may be the the other one that he's talking about. Since I don't see any other towers. Hmm. It doesn't look like those have beacons. The pylon towers. So there, there's that one. And um, yeah, there's that one as well. So um, I kind of forgot what beacon that had. I kind of forgot what beacon um, this other tower had. Because I think that one is one that... Um, I think that's one that, um, here, let's look at it again. Um, there's a similar looking tower that's a little farther from the highway that has an, oh, it's an old school LED, okay. Alright, so, um, that other one has an old school LED, and this one has, uh, a dual strobe. And you know what, let's double check to see if there's any beacons on these, ta on these, um, pylon towers. Crap. This thing's blocking it. I thought semi-trucks were supposed to do this. But no, no, it doesn't look like they're. It doesn't look like they have any beacons. Sadly enough, they're beaconless. Number nine. This uh, three antenna monopole in Kentucky. <laughs> get off my get off my phone screen, and little hair. Oh hey, look another monopole with the uh, with the same another monopole with the um. With a, a a white and red single strobe, so um, this the second Walmart tower is not the only one out there that used to have one of these, at least. Well, that used to wield this. This one wields it, and it may still it still may wield it today. Really hope so. It would be the worst thing to see. Um, it would be the worst thing to see if one of these towers um got their beacons replaced with some stupid modern LED or a crappy LED as well. So. Um, there it is. This, uh, this looks pretty cool. So, um, what is it? Oh, that's just a. That looks cool. That really does look cool. That, isn't that nice? It sucks out. It has no markers on it, though. And there's a cool water tower back there as well. So, um, yeah, let's move on. Okay, so, um, this is number 10. The last tower is a red and white lattice tower with two sets of FH-306s. Oh, there's two of them. Uh, yes, this one, this one is probably the, the highest ranking one on this list. Uh, I think that's something to hold a sign, I think that's some signpost or something that holds, um, gas station signs and logos and all that, so, um, yeah, nothing too important there. There it is, and um, the beacons are um, the the bottom beacons are um, way too low, really. I think you can actually see the markers as well. They're just right there, just right there. <laughs> Literally, you can see the markers there. And there's the uh, other markers. These th those beacons are just way too high up. They really are. They're too close to the second. They're so. They're too close to the this one pair of markers here. So um, yeah, they should be um closer to the second pair of side markers. So there's that. Uh, this here is the last tower. That in this and uh, it has the most beacons out of um out of all the others and on this list. Well, guys. Um, before the video ends, I want to show you the um. The leader of all the the leader of all the um, 
all the towers with the the leader of all the towers with the white and red single strobes. There it is. This here's the leader of all the other towers with the same beacon. The second Walmart tower. Though even if it even if it now has an LED, it's still considered the leader since this one is the very first tower I ever seen with the white and red single strobe, aka FH three oh nine. I mean three oh six. So yeah, there's that. Don't me.